Hello everyone, my name is John Milisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So as you can see here, there are concrete houses and also in the center you can see a concrete pathway going through the beach. This tutorial is not so easy, it will be hard for beginners but I still recommend this for because it's very challenging and I know that you can do this also. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and please hit that bell button if you want to have some new updates on my future videos and tutorials. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using the liquid colors in the palette. And I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the billion trade, the medium yellow, and the raw umber. So I'm using the liquid colors because I want you to learn how to, on how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, now this is the principal brushes. So I'll be using the number 12 and flat brush, long handle. Number 10, um, white bristle flat brush, long handle. I also have the number 8, nylon flat brush, long handle. And the number 3, nylon flat brush. Um, long handle and I have here the liner brush for the details it, will, it is a number one liner brush or can you also, also use round brush zero double zeros or triple zeros and this is my canvas it's um, 13 by 16 inches you can also use 12 by 16 it has three coats of prime gesso uh, you can also use acrylic and I made, it, I made this myself water to thin the paint and if we're gonna need water spray here to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors uh, okay so I think I'm gonna start now and today I'm gonna paint uh, what will be an old village so last time I paint really a village but this time I also want to build uh, a village um, near the, the ocean or sea or beach so I'm gonna put some old houses concrete houses and uh, this will be um, and also concrete roads something like that so and flowers so I'm not sure sure what will be what will come out on this tutorial but I hope it will be good and if you are watching me now I hope you get something out of this and if you're painting just follow me and have fun painting okay so I'm gonna start now and first I'm gonna do a little auto sketching so I'll be using another brush now this is uh, a new kind of brush very similar to my number 8 brush, but this one is smaller, number 3. Yeah, it's number 3 brush. I like this one, it's smaller for the sketching. And I'm gonna now start with the raw umber and white. Uh, I'm mixing white to the raw umber so, so that it will become lighter. And it's very important to use lighter colors for the sketch so that I can cover it with other colors like yellow. It will be uh, lighter and it will be good. And I'm gonna put the horizon here. Uh, here, this will be my horizon. And the beach here. Uh, this will be my point. Yeah, here. So I just put the point here. And we can do something like this. some these lines will be our guide for this one we have a tight this one here yeah or you can also do that. I'll make it a little smaller like that yeah you can still adjust and I'm gonna put uh, this one here uh, another line here so this is how you create perspective if you have some some buildings there like this one or 
Uh, this one, you can also use a smaller uh, building like this one. I'm going to create another line. If you are using pencil, that will be fine. That was, that's better. You can create small, smaller or bigger buildings. You can create lines to the roof. I'm going to make the roof a little longer like that. This will be a little confusing, but I can see the lines there, and I know where I'm gonna um, do it, where I'm gonna put all those um, details. So here, I'll try to put some I'll try to put line another line here, and I'll try to put some door here on this part and this is called one point one point perspective everyone so this is important if you new paint um, houses or whatever you want to put there I'm gonna put some flowers here so be red flowers like that I'm gonna put something here on this part yeah this is like a big flower pot and plants here I'm gonna put some plants Okay, there. And then on the other hand, I'm going to put another house here. Hmm, that will be a little farther. You can also make it a little smaller, like this. Okay. Yeah, here. And this one here, I'm going to put a small one. This one, a smaller one here. And this is a little higher. So it will be a little confusing, everyone, but I think you can do it also. I also want to put a little details here, something. Yeah. Not really sure yet. Yeah. I we'll also put some house here. Just a little building. That's a small building, small type. Yeah. Okay. So this is it. So I have now some basic um, sketch. Now I'm going to put some harder lines. So here, so I have them guides. This will be my guide here. Yeah. 
So I'm using the raw umber for the guides. And uh, lights from the um, from the left side. I want this part to be really heat with good light, and these flowers here. Yeah, I want this part to be really have a good lights. Uh, that will be my plan. And also some pathway here. I also need to put some rocks on the pathway. Okay, there. I'm going to put some trees here. I like to put some trees. I will cover. I like to cover some parts here with this huge tree. Yeah, then put the lights. I like to make it dark. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start now. I'll try to cut. I will try to start drawing or coloring so it takes my time just 11 minutes for for just uh, sketching and I will make some wonderful sky so I'll be using some blue and white only And then I'm going to put some white. There. And some purple. So I'm going to use the, the red blue and and white so I'm, I'm gonna make it a little purple so this is too much everyone I'll just make it a little lighter later later yeah I'll be using a smaller brush which is the number eight nine foot brush and I have here some blue and red to make some purple so the this uh, the farther part should be uh, more purple Okay. I'll be using a lighter one, so white and blue here. I'll be using a lighter color for this part of the beach. I think I need the second coats for this one. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah, I still need um, some second coats. And then I'm going to use some yellow. Umber 
yeah and red and white I'm gonna put colors on the beach this will be some brown light brown I'm gonna put it here here this will be some soils on the side of the pathway we can use dark okay So I'm gonna make this I'm gonna mix for a little or so here I have umber blue and white yeah. so what we are doing now is just the underpainting so don't worry everyone we're just doing it underpainting and later we can start the beautiful details And then this one here will be very uh, a little dark, but it should be gray. So I'm gonna use uh, blue, red, and white. So it will be a little grayish. So I'm gonna use the raw umber. It looks purple, but I'm gonna use more blue. You should not put red, everyone. Okay. Now her just pure white. So this part will be hit by a really great light. Beautiful sunlight so it will be very bright. Okay, and again I'm gonna mix for a little bluish color or green, yes. To put on this part here. This part will be a little dark. And also here.
Damn. I need this one. So I'll just put some little dark here. So it seems that it's covered by other it's covered by some shades or casted shadow. So I'll just put lights. Half of this um, part of this um, building. I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna put it here. Want to be straight, so everyone. There. Okay, so I think I will start now deta detailing. So. But I was uh, still need to put some colors here. White. Uh, I'll be using a little gray, yes, but yeah, I will add the white later for the highlights. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's a little wet, but hmm, I just have to to cover it with other colors. I think also here, blue and um, blue and amber. So I'm gonna cover it again also here. I'm going to put plants here later. everyone this is just another painting so we will try to add details later on Going to refill some paints on my yeah on my mm, palette. Okay, so I'll try to add. Some second coats on the sky. So here I have the blue, the red, and the white. I'll put some dark colors here. To make this part a little darker. Yeah. some orange I'll be using 
some yellow red and white like to put some orange in the sky to make it more look like in the afternoon I got to put some lighter um, purple so here here and you need to blend on this part to make it look smooth some beautiful yellowish sky so I will just make this part a little lighter and not so obviously orange I'll just bring it a little to remove some more orange color yeah there so I love it and also this one I think I need to plan it uh, very well. Okay. Okay, that's it. So we have now the beautiful sky. And I will start um, adding details on the on the uh, water or sea. So I have here raw umber and red. No, I mean, sorry, red. blue and red. It should be blue and red. A little white. I will not make it dark. So I have to blend it um, smoothly. Yeah, it looks very, very smooth. And I still have to put some horizon, but uh, it's very, very smooth now. And I have to make the water a really good blue. So I'll be using blue only and white. Here. 
So all you have to do is blend well like this. Yeah. And then some white, make it a little lighter. And the shallow part should be light. This one. Uh, on the beach I'm gonna put a lighter color so here yellow red and white I'm using the same brush this is the number 8 flat brush I just have to blend it here to make it look really smooth and then I'm gonna use white and red Okay, now I'll start adding some tones, darker tones or something like that. So here I'm going to start adding some romber so to make some to create some darker tones so here for the romber this one here And always do not forget the but I'll just cover it on later so it will not matter most yeah and here but I will cut this one here with a little because I also need to put some shadow first where the shadow gonna hit so I'll be using this light grayish color here It's gonna hit a little here.
there. And also here. So this is not so easy everyone, so it will be a little complicated for the beginners. But it's also good if you try this one. Put a little dark shades here on this part. Yeah. So this part will be dark. And also here. Some lighter shadow. So if, if it's very unclear for you now, so just follow me and just watch and what we can do here for one hour. Okay. Okay, so I'll try to put some roof. First, I'm going to use some red or lighter brown. Reddish brown and white with a little yellow also. And then this one here. Okay. And then I'm gonna use some uh, a reddish brown for this one Okay. And then I'm going to use some other grayes. Hmm, I'll just put something here. This will look like a fence, yeah. I forgot the uh, 
where's the point? But I think it's here. And I don't know where I'm gonna put my fence or something. Or it will be just like this one. But I just use my eyes, everyone. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I forget, forget where the, the point of perspective. So I just have to imagine it if it looks good or not. Okay, it's almost one hour and I'm still here. I'm still far from the truth. Yeah. So I think I'll start now adding some details. So first I'm going to put it here. I'm gonna put some lights. So I'm gonna put, put some white. Now this part will be hit by the lights. Yeah. So we just have to put shades on that part. It will not be so light. I'll put also some darker shades but it will be a little lighter, not so dark. So this is the shadow from here. Yeah, I think that will be okay. Then I'm gonna use some raw umber and blue. And some blue color. <laughs> there. So I'll just make that part darker. I'm going to put shades or something. You can also put some some lines there that it will look like some so I'm gonna use some white make it look like there's um, there is this part are some cements or or it is um, concrete you can also use palette knife for this one I believe palette knife, palette knife is better for this job yeah but I'll just cover some parts here so it will be covered also later Okay, there. And then I'm gonna use some white, some pure white for this part. Also just like that. You can create thick, uh, thick colors.
like you are using some palette knife Yeah, also here I'm gonna put the light color. There. Okay, so we have now some some um, highlights here. I will put some colors in the pathway. You can you can use the very thick paints. Or you can actually use also palette knife. There. And here. I'll put some crossing waves here, a little crossing waves on the distance. There. Okay. So far it looks nice. Not so perfect, but for me it looks nice. And in here I'm gonna put some more thickness. Yeah, and I'm gonna use some um, umber, white, and yellow. I'm gonna put it for, the, for this part right here. I'm gonna put some very, very bright um, soils or pathway. Okay. There, I love the lights here. Yeah, but we'll justify that later. Okay. Okay, so I'll continue. So I will put more highlights. I will probably put more lights here because I really love to see how this light works. And I'm gonna put some a little light here. To the pathway, so I'm gonna use this white. I'm going to use a very bright color here. There. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to start adding more uh, plenty of details. So I'll start first with adding, with adding some um, doors. So here I'm gonna have the umber and blue to make it to make a darker doors. 
And I'll put it here. But I'll just um, cover this part later on, so it will be useless. <laughs> I'll put the victory here. And first I need to make sure that this part is, looks good. So I'll just put it on this part first. Uh, I'm going to put some shadow like this one. There. Okay. And I think I'm going to put some... I'll take window here. some doors and I'm gonna use a little lighter color a little gray yes because I'm gonna need to put also some as the shadow here. Yeah. Yeah, so far I love it. And then I think I would still need to refill some paints on my It's almost one hour and I'm still not done. Okay. Yeah, I still need to put some tree here. So I'll put the tree first. So I'm gonna use the raw umber and the blue. I think I'm gonna put a tree here. And I also need, also need to put some tree here on the back part. So I'll be mixing some yellow 
and blue to make some greens to so here okay you can use the topping technique So here, let's not overdo it everyone, so make sure that you have still space. I'll make some darker color, I'm gonna put it here also. And also here, I'm gonna put some plants inside this um, fence or whatever is this one. Okay, and also here, I'm gonna put some plants beside this um, Beside this pathway, there's a few plants. Okay, that's just stopping a punching technique everyone. Then blue umber, blue. I also put some plant here inside the box. This will be a little peak plant. Then another color, blue, yellow, another green, a little red. Yeah, I'll try to use a smaller brush. 
or the this one bro. the bristle flat brush so I'll be I'll mix another wings Okay, now I'm going to start adding some more printed details. Make sure that you're gonna clean your brush. It's now one hour and I'm still not done. So here I'll be mixing blue and a little red. It will be a little purple and white. to put some um, a little purple on this pathway here it will be a little purple if one I'm gonna add some white. I'm gonna make it a little lighter. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little brush and I'm gonna put it here and also here I'm gonna make this part a little brush to make the light and cold colors meet and it will actually make it look more realistic. Yeah. And also this one here. There. Okay. And then the other one here. 
I'm gonna make this shadow bluish. That's it. Okay. For now, it looks where where it look like so there are shadows in there, and I'll have to look at it. Okay, I want more. Uh, lighter bluish. So this one. Okay. I'll just add some blue stone. Add plenty of colors as you can see there. And those things are important also this will make this uh, look more realistic I'll just add pretty full colors there I like the blue tones. Okay, and this one. I'll be using a smaller brush. It is the number one needle brush. Oh no, sorry everyone, it's number one. But it's the number three flat brush. And I'm going to use this white here. And I'm going to put some um, highlights, white highlights. more darker or darker sorry everyone sorry for, for my grammars <laughs> Bush. That's it. And white.
Yeah, it's lighter there. And also here, should be a little lighter. Okay. And then on the pathway, I'm going to put some um, details like rocks to make it look like uh, rocks or whatever. This part here. Just put some cracks here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so make sure that you create perspective on creating this uh, pavement here or pathway or, or rocks on the pathway so it should have textures and it should have a perspective so the farther one will be lighter of course The work cracks you put here, it will become um, more realistic. And make sure those cracks are not solid, so solid. There. Yeah. I really love the perspective here. Okay, and also I'm going to improve this part here. Yeah. It's one hour and sixteen minutes and I'm still far from tooth, but so far it looks good. And here I'm gonna put some crack on the center this one.
there. Also, I'm gonna put some bluish color here. And then I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna add some a little highlights here. There. Okay, so I'll be using another bigger brush. Some blue umber, bleed yellow. I think I'm gonna put some blue color to make it a little darker. I just want to make this to add tones to this part, it should be dark tones so that I can put contrast to this painting. I just make sure that this part have good light. A good, um, I mean, um, it's dark. There's a bug, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be using some more bluish and raw umber. And I'll just make this part darker. Okay. And of course here I'm going to put some red and bomber. And of course the door here should be red. Or brown. Also here. Okay. There. Also, I need to put some more darks. I need some. Little blue is great for this part here to create some shadow. Yeah. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna put more raw umber. I want this part to be dark. This one also. And then I'm gonna put, put some pure white here. You can also take great textures. that it's very bright I want the very bright color to make it look really the sun is shining on that part there okay yeah and then I'm gonna use some I think I'll just use this color it is the number three non flat brush and I have here the blue and the yellow. I'm gonna put more bluish and white. Planning to put some flowers on this plant here. So, uh, yeah, I'll just use um, this brush to create uh, details one by one on the leaves. And also here. It's one hour to five minutes and I'm not done yet. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use some yellow. I'm gonna put more yellow here and white. I'm gonna put light here. Just do it one by one, everyone. There. And then I'm gonna add white.
like it right there. With a little light also here. Also create grasses or whatever plants you're gonna put here. It's still all up to you everyone. And then I'm gonna use some light yellow color. I also put some highlights here. So for everyone, I really love the uh, highlights on this one. And then I'm gonna put some pink flowers on that, on that tree there. First, I'm gonna put some red. I'll be using the same brush. Uh, use some red. And then I'm gonna add some white to make it pink. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need to put more everyone. I think it looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna need more to put more flowers. But I'm gonna make it a little darker. The pink, I'm gonna put it here. Okay. 
Okay, so this part should be dark because there's no light hitting this part here. So I want it to be uh, look dark. Okay. Yeah. So I really love the light on this one. Because you can see clearly where the sun is hitting. Okay, so so far it looks it. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to retouch this one. I'm gonna put some more branches. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do my best to make it as realistic as possible. So I'll be using the number one liner brush. One. And I have here some blue umber and blue. Make sure it's very fluid so that you can create small branches. Just put more branches there. Okay. And I want to add more um, tones or I mean dark tones on the other sides here. So I'll be using the umber and the blue. So mixing these colors, two colors will create a darker color. It will almost look like black, but it's not a black to here. And also here, and I'm going to put a little cutter on there also. If you have a palette knife for one, you can also use your palette knife. But this time I'll just use all with brush. Probably this better with palette knife, you can actually create those good tones there. So I'm going now to put highlights on the trees, but first I'm going to put some branches here on this tree. Yeah, it's almost, uh, it's 1 hour and 30 minutes and not done yet. But, uh, but it's wet. So I'm going to add more. I'm 
around here. Oh, the tree trunk. Make sure that your brush is pointed to create those tiny branches to here. So before I forget, I should put some little shadows. I need to put some blue on my palette. And white. It's dark, so I'm gonna add some white. to put some casted shadow on the I by the by the plants on the part of the what do you call this fence there I think so far that looks good okay Okay, so I think I'm gonna put some um, highlights on the tree, tree trunk. So I'm gonna use this raw umber with a little bluish color here, with a little light. Yeah, because of bright colors here, it will actually reflect in this part here. Should not forget some highlights coming from the sun so i should put, use white blue umber yellow and red i'm gonna put it here Okay, now I'm going to add some highlights on the on the leaves. So I'm gonna use more yellowish tone and white. I'll be using the number three flat brush. And here, the same technique. You can use the tapping technique. So all the highlights should be from the left side. Okay, so Again, do not overdo it. Do not put more here because it should be dark here. Okay, so next I'll be using the number 8 flat brush. We need some yellow and white. And I'm gonna put highlights here.
So again, the highlight should be on the left side. Just do it slowly, tapping on the on the top part to create those highlights there. There. Okay. And also here, I'm gonna put the little highlights on these plants there. Okay, so what will be what else I'm gonna put here? Uh, I think I'm gonna put a boat. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put a boat first here. So it will be. The boat will be my main point on this um, painting, so it will be really nice. Okay, so I will try. I will be using a smaller brush, it is the number one liner brush. And I'm gonna use the blue, I want it to be a uh, blue color. So I'm gonna put it here. So we should always be careful everyone for the perspective. I'm not really sure if. Yeah, I think maybe picker, a little picker. Okay, yeah, I'll try this one. So I'm going to put some dark shades first. There. And then I'm going to put the blue. Add some white to make it a little lighter. Okay. Then I'm gonna use some pure white. And then I'm going to put some put some casted shadow. So I'm going to use 
a little brownish here but I'm going to make it a little lighter I'm adding some white And I'm going to use a little dark tones. Yeah, looks good. And then I'm going to put some... Yeah, something on the... And then on the uh, farther part of the ocean, I'm gonna put a boot there. First, I'm gonna use some white. It's a sailing boat, so. Also, I'm going to put a little reflection. Okay, not too much. And a little grayish color. Yeah, I'm going to put too much colors in there. Okay. So, it's almost 1 hour and 50 minutes. And... Well, I think I am almost done. I'm thinking what I'm going to add or something, but for me, I'm contented. I wanted to make the boat red so that it will be really, really, um, it can catch our attention, but I'm not sure what it looks. Yeah, I think blue is good. Uh, but I'm going to put a little design on the boat. Just to make it more visible. But it's up to everyone if you want to put uh, the colors, it's still up to you. Yeah, yeah something like that. Okay. And I'm gonna use some lighter. A uh, lighter uh, green color or yellow green. And I'm going to put some grasses here. Uh, this part will be will hit by the sunlight. So expected that this part will be a little light. There. And I'm gonna use some white. Just a little, everyone. Just make it look like um, the leaves are glowing. That's it. Also here, but this time it should be a little smaller compared to this one here. Uh, 
and also I'm going to mix for a darker um, bluish color so I'm gonna put some grasses also but this time these grasses are not light so uh, it was not hit by sunlight Okay. okay everyone so it's one hour and 50 minutes I finish it for almost two hours so i think i so far i'm continuing the result and yeah it's good looks good um maybe i'll just retouch more but i'm gonna do it offline and i think this one is good for tutorial so you can you can actually do it on your own and i think you can actually do this it's not so easy but i will actually I challenge the beginners so to try this one because this will be really good and it will be challenging and can learn a lot from this one especially the colors the lights especially the lights so that's one thing that we will really learn this one to put good lights to make it look more uh, there's shining bright on this village okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.